We're here with Sandra, who's about to share her experience in dealing with fibroids. Let's take a look at her story. Hi, my name is Sandra. I'm an English page. I'm living in New York. Um, my experience was horrendous. It was life-changing. It made me feel like it was the worst thing to have a period. I would be very scared of coming around the time to my period and it was heavy flows. It was needing extra iron, very tired, um, feeling just totally lethargic, energyless. Um, Wanting to lay down all the time, having to change a sanitary napkin every one to two hours, whereas before it would be a little bit more than that. Um, to sneeze and to laugh, I had to try and grip myself from not sneezing or laughing at all and became very uncomfortable for me sexually because it interfered with my life sometimes I would the fibroid would cause my period to come twice a month which would cause heavy bleeding twice a month cramping and um, I decided to have the hysterectomy after many talks with my doctor after many options they offered and I thought that would be the best solution for me would be a hysterectomy to just have everything taken out so that there will be nothing more growing back inside of my body because to go through that again, I really didn't want to take that chance. So after the hysterectomy, I realized that it was life changing. I could do more things. I could be more active. I could wear white. I could sit. I could sneeze. I could laugh. I didn't have to feel like I was being um, held captive of don't do this, don't do that because of the fact of the heavy blood flow, it would just gush out. Sorry to make it so graphic, but it would gush out. When I go to the bathroom, public bathrooms, I'm very conscious of who I go, who comes behind me. I have to clean up the blood because the blood would gush out when I would urinate. Just the urination would cause a lot of blood flow to come down, clots, which would make a mess on the toilet. And I had to be clean in a public toilet, even at work. It's like you know it's lots of things that entail having fibroids that i went through the worst part many people have had fibroids but i think i may have been having experiencing the worst part of fibroids so i did lots of research and i read up on it and i believe that the hysterectomy was the best thing to do and that's what i've done and i feel free i feel liberated i can do what i want i don't have to worry about no pads i had to wear a tampon super and a super pad those days are done i'm so happy at 44 i am happy and i can live life my husband can't make jokes i won't wake up in the morning with a pool of blood on my soiled it was totally disgusting in my head and I'm sure to my husband he thought I needed to get a grip of it. That's just what we go through as women with fibroids. Sandra, you're dealing with fibroids. What exactly was your breaking point with deciding to, you know, go from fibroids to treatment? My breaking point was when I was bleeding heavily for more more than the normal amount of days, which is usually five days. And I was bleeding up to about 10 days and it was nonstop. And I was feeling extremely weak, waking up with headaches all day long. The headaches won't go away. I mean, I knew I was anemic due to the heavy bleeding because I have had this, I was aware of the fibroids, but it, it came to a point where I was just feeling weak and I couldn't even, didn't even want to get out of bed um, it interfered with my life, and that's the part where it's just the bleeding and the headache. So that's when I realized that I really need to do something about it. Now, did your stomach swell at all when you had your fibroids? Yes, I did. And in one instance, there was an uh, employee mm -hmm. that asked another employee, is Sandra pregnant? She looks about four months pregnant. And that was my breaking point also because I couldn't wear my regular clothes. I couldn't wear nice underwear. You know, I always had to wear something that would hold in the stomach and hold in the good the thick pads. So what exactly did you have done to treat it? I had a hysterectomy. 
um, a partial hysterectomy where I left my ovaries mm -hmm. and just the uterus was taken out. Why did you choose that option? I chose that option because I was told that the fib it's a possibility that the fibroids could repeat if they just removed the fibroids, they would return. And I didn't want to have to suffer anymore. To me, it was like suffering within my own body and I needed to take charge and take hold. So I chose to have my uterus removed so they would no longer be housed, no fibroids could be housed in my uterus. Well, I do know having such a drastic um, a procedure does affect fertility. Is that something that you were considering at that point in time? I mean, I have four children, four boys. I always wish for a girl. And it, I really took that into deep thought, but being I'm 44, and I did say I didn't want any more because I may end up with another boy because there's no, there's no um, guarantee, guarantee mm -hmm. that I would get a girl. So I made the choice, and I had to make a choice for myself. It was a conscious choice that I made. I had my husband didn't want me to do it. But that's something I know what I went through, that I knew that I had to make a good decision whether do I want to continue with this pain and suffering. To me, I considered it pain and suffering, and I said no. I just want to enjoy the rest of my life. I guess I will no longer have that other child and live life, a better life. So since having the surgery, how are you doing now? How is everything? I'm doing excellent. I'm happier. I don't have to get that um, feeling of, oh my gosh, it's that time of the month, and oh my gosh, it's, it's time for hell again. And I feel like my life is much better. It's more, I can do more things in my life. It doesn't, nothing to disturb my life. I know more pains, no more heavy bleeding, no more having to wear padded up pads and tampons and pads. And yeah, I can live life much better. It's because I feel like I was, I was suffering and I thought it was okay, you know, like, I have to deal with this. I have to be a big girl and deal with this. I didn't know that this heavy bleeding was more serious than it was. I just thought it was, you have to deal with it. And I wish someone told me earlier when I was suffering with this for a couple of years, the heavy bleeding, that, you know, this is an option and it's not, don't be scared. Don't, be, don't feel like you're gonna, um, your life is gonna be like, I guess somewhat over, mm -hmm. like the things I heard about what happens after hysterectomy. So I feel much better. Thank you so much, Sandra, for coming on and sharing your story. And when we come back, we continue along with our woman's episode. So stay